Hey everybody, welcome to, I, I don't even know the name of this thing yet, uh, <laughs> but it's Ken Andrews, Tim Rush, uh, this is our first episode, more of a trial episode than anything. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, Tim's my first guest on whatever I've named this show, you'll know in the intro. What's up everybody? Uh, Tim's going to be playing video games, I'm going to basically interview him, we're going to talk about wrestling, we're going to ask Tim a lot of, you know, his stories and experiences in wrestling and uh, Tim's gonna be playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 while we're doing this on the PlayStation 1 and uh, have you ever played this game before? I have. Okay I get well you should probably start because oh, nobody yeah. wants to <laughs> okay, see the okay. demo mode. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah that's that'd be fine. Um, as of this recording we've got the upcoming uh, church show Yes, sir. Um, at the St. Lutheran's? St. John's Lutheran Church. St. John's in York. Lutheran Church in York. So that's next Saturday. So this will give you an idea of where we are when when this comes out two months from now. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go with Bucky. That, that was my go-to as a kid. Oh, really? I don't even remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. This I think it's just was... I thought his name was funny. I think it's funny. And he does the uh, finger flip air walk, which is my favorite movie. Yes, he game. does. That was, that was my go-to. go to buy stats, I think it can show you. No, has... tricks. Buy tricks. Oh, yeah. I think it'll uh... show you what tricks you already know. But I think uh, you can also, when you press pause, it'll show you what yeah, tricks you know. Yeah, you can check it. I think, yeah. I think you're right. Um, man, Because I, I played this on... Uh, we did a couple episodes of this on my previous, my now defunct... Let's Play channel, and I love this game. <laughs> it is probably it's so one much of fun. well, this uh, the next this one has a couple of unlockable characters, I think, and the next one has Spider Man. That's uh, Tony Hawk's Pro does, Skater Three. Does three have Spider? What does this one have? I forget. I think I think the NeverSoft Logo Man. Oh, wow, is I don't well. <laughs> It's okay. Look at your. Oh, you're uh, already ending <laughs> your run. I see if the move thing was there. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. All right. I gotta get time. the hang of this. Dude, dude, we have like an hour all right, all right. of you playing video games and me trying to do an interview without being there distracted by your 360 nose bone. Oh, you're already at your your uh, special. Should be left right circle? Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was close. The fact that I remember that makes me <laughs> wow. very happy. So you had this as a kid then? Yeah, actually, I had this on N64. I had the original Tony Hawk on, on PlayStation. Oh yeah, okay. Which is a little rough. Uh, yeah, I've gone back. One. I went back and played it like a year or two ago, and it doesn't necessarily age well. Oh, did I get that letter? I'm going over trying to find the. You're trying to do skate. Yeah. Did you? Then did you play the the remake that they put out a couple years ago of Tony Hawk One? No. Oh, you I just didn't know there was a remake. You just popped. Oh in. no, yeah, I popped in my my uh popped into my. PlayStation. I, I still have a. Oh, I have a PS2. Okay. Yeah. They uh they made an HD version of Tony Hawk ah. One, and it's it's okay. Oh, it's a little weird seeing video games like that are old like this that are pixelated. Yeah, they're not meant to be HD, but they're like order to make them HD anyway. They smooth them out weirdly. At like uh. One of your favorite games of all time, uh, Final Fantasy IX. I did like that remake. Really? Yeah. I'm not a fan of that smoothed out HD look. I thought games. they did a good job with it, and uh, I just thought like you can see the uh, like all their faces and stuff a lot better, like okay. not in cutscenes, which you never could. They were just kind of a blur. True. Oh, I know. oh, that was close. Oh, you got the secret tape though. You might even have enough points to unlock level two. Nah, you gotta <laughs> do all of them. No, no, you only have to have a certain nah, amount. Nah, no, of them. like I have to do all. Oh, of them. you have to do them all. Well, some of them right. get tough. Yeah. Because you need to have better. Uh, cool. All right. Yeah. The you barrels. The yeah, right. Okay, and I'll just do the scores. Whoops. That's okay. I, I mean, I just. Uh, yeah. Don't. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> don't delete my. Uh, Can I name it something funny? Yeah. Like ass. Something. You want to name it ass? Are we in the arcade? We are. 1996. All right, so I guess I should actually interview you somewhat oh, yeah. because it has question. almost been five minutes, and we've just been gushing over Tony Hawk. Oh, this is what I was supposed to make ass. Yeah, well, you know you have a three-letter name, right, Tim? You could put <laughs> your actual name in there. Nope, unacceptable. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do an actual interview then. I guess. How? Uh, let's start with the basics. 
How did you get involved in wrestling? Um, so I like I watched wrestling a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of fell out when I was like probably 14, 15, like through high school, like as a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, and I started working at Lowe's and uh, met a bunch of guys that had a uh, little little backyard fed. I mean that's uh frowned upon, but whatever. Dude, this is a shoot interview. I don't give a shit. So, um... Oh, nice! He's stuck uh, in I went to the barrel. I, there's a room behind that, too. Yeah, you, you gotta grind the... Grind the, uh, uh, nose there. Um, so did that, and I just got really, really just back into, like, not just sticking around with friends, but just watching wrestling. Mm -hmm. And, uh, probably more than I ever had, like, really into indie stuff. Uh, not just new ah, WWE stuff, and then just somehow Nate's friend knew someone who knew Wolf. Is all I is what I know of this, and they're like, "Hey, this guy wants to train us." Well, you know, he says that uh, he can train you guys. So then uh, hooked up there, and then you and Evan trained us, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's kind of just how it went. And then just been uh, doing the deal, living the dream since then. What I uh. What I always compliment because I've seen some of your backyards. Oh, have you? Oh, why? I actually did. Why? I, I, um, Zeke had posted a video at some point, and I'm friends with him on the internet. Or, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> wow, how old are you? I'm friends with this guy on the internet. <laughs> but um, so Zeke posted a video of guess when he was in the backyard, and it had a link to when you were in the backyard. And I was I'm like, sorry, I, had to see that. I was like, holy no. shit! Tim was actually wearing gear. Oh yeah, like you were wearing trunks and kick pads. I then CM Punk trunks. Yeah, I was like, wow, Tim was actually geared up as a worker when you were in the backyard. So that was actually kind of, I'm not gonna say respect <laughs> because you were in the backyard, but you at least were trying your best to make yourself look more legit, which was actually kind of cool because I don't see that, like. Out of guys that are in the backyard usually. So kudos to you. <laughs> I, I guess if you want to put it that way. Oh. So you've been wrestling what three years now? Oh uh, yep, just a shade over three years. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's still a little green. Oh, and I know. But um, are you have you been having fun? Oh, I have a black. Um, it's good. Uh, it's pretty rare that I don't have fun. Like. I just, I don't know, I see all these guys, they're like, oh man, I don't want to do anything tonight, brother. I, and they just, you can tell they don't enjoy it anymore. Mm -hmm. And, like, I know I'm not old in it, but, like, it's very rare that I don't have fun no matter what I'm doing. Okay. Like, even if I'm just doing a battle royal or whatever, I'll, I mean, you know, we just had that battle royal last weekend. I was in it for, like, three minutes, and I made it, you know, we had <laughs> oh, yeah. fun. Just, yeah. We just dicked around and laughed and whatever. <laughs> Me and you were messing each other <laughs> For no reason at all. <laughs> Oh, dude, I, I had that look in my eyes. I know you saw it. <laughs> you just started beating me with that shield for no reason. So, Tim and I wrestle for a company called Cosplay Pro Wrestling. And I dress up as several different video game characters. as just Tim. Uh, Tim, you were dressed as Diddy Kong. Yes, sir. And I was dressed as Link from Legend of Zelda. And I took the sword and shield into this battle royal. <laughs> And I looked over at Tim, and you could see in my eyes that I was going to bash you with that fucking thing. And I did. You did. I, I laid and in. And I gave you a big old overhand chop. Then he gave me a chop, and I no-sold it <laughs> like it was nothing. I said, fuck you. And I just started laying in even harder. Dude, I can't get this high school. I suck. Oh, oh dude. You'll, I mean, you need some more. You need to not. You need to ollie a lot more. And, yeah. Uh, not ollie. Uh, fucking manual. Manual. Manual really adds up. Because it adds your multiplier. Yeah. I, I, I'm not good at multi. New level. Boom. You're not doing it. I gotta get everything. You gotta get everything. I would, I'm just gonna focus. I need the barrels and those stupid wings. Yeah, you gotta get the wings. Yeah, the fifth, the seventy-five thousand is gonna be tough until you That's unlock to, some more yeah. stats and stuff. But it, like, I'm trying to do that and kind of going for barrels. Like, it's something I need to focus solely on. Yeah, just go for barrels. Just do a, a yeah, run I'm for barrels. barrels and wings. Uh, oh, I got Ooh. that. I did not think I was gonna. Get I that. always felt so bad for the dude because he started bleeding whenever he fell. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, I did my best. Oh, How what? did you miss that? I don't know. I got that one that I shouldn't have gotten. And is there a barrel out on the I think there is. Well, there's either a barrel or a wing out there. Uh, I think there's one behind the like, half-pipe. 
Nice. What the hell? Dude. It's it's like right there. There's one in that half that half pipe. Okay, there you go. And there's one right there. Just press forward. There you go. Nice. So um. So you've been wrestling three years now. Uh, where where do people usually get to see you? Um, I mean, I know you're still three years in, so not a lot of guys are all over the place. That's understandable. But like, where are you primarily at? Uh, right now, I'm primarily with SWO, as you know. Um, oh, okay, yep. And then I've been working with True Wrestling a lot, which I'm having a lot of fun with. I, uh -huh. I worked, as you know, worked super crazy there a little bit ago in a yeah. three way, which was a lot, a lot of fun. He's a real cool guy. I was pretty happy. Uh, pretty excited. Yeah, pretty happy. Like you know, you always hear these stories about this. Oh, I worked this guy. And he was a dick to me, but he was just well, cool as can be. Yeah, some of us have those experiences. <laughs> but uh, gonna be. I really like to wrestle more. Um, right now, it's kind of awkward with like my work schedule. Uh, so yeah. Is. But uh, oh, oh, okay. You had to run. Yeah, I got. I was about to say, dude. Yeah, you... so I just got to get the score now. Um, because I work on Saturday morning, so it's hard to do anything that's too far away. True. But I, um, I'm starting a new shift soon, so I'll have off all day Saturday. So I'm gonna try to reach out to some more places here and see if we can fill that calendar up a little bit. So, you uh. You bring up something. A lot of people, t I mean, I assume they know, but they never really think about it. A lot of indie wrestlers, we all have real jobs, real lives. Yeah. Like, we are these characters on the weekends, the larger-than-life characters, and it's really, it, has it ever gotten a little cringy with you? Is, like, anything ever, i put this, do you put out to people that you're a pro wrestler that aren't into it and shit, like um, work and stuff? Sometimes, if it comes up, and then, like, people just don't get it, though. Yeah. Or they'll just be like, yeah, I remember watching The Ultimate Warrior. I'm like, yeah, oh. Like, anytime I would ever ask a girl out, and, like, I could be on a date with a chick, they're like, so what do you do for a hobby? Well, I'm like, oh, on the weekends I do pro wrestling. And they're thinking, like, I still do, like, high yeah, school uh, th wrestling. they'll ask me a lot, like, oh, what school do you wrestle for? I'm like, and no. you're like, I'm not in school and I'd anymore. Like, I'll, I'll either be like, you know, like, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, or like, you know, like, WWE. Like, yeah. I'll usually say, you know, like, WWE, and if they still don't get it, then I'll bust out the, like, Hulk Hogan. I, I just go to, I just say Hulk Hogan and steel chairs. <laughs> and people are like, oh, my God, really? Look at you. You're not big. And I'm like, well, now I even feel like more, more <laughs> like shit. You don't look like you're a wrestler. Like, well, excuse the fuck out of me, okay? Oh, they didn't add revert till the next one, didn't they? Uh, yeah, they didn't add it till the next one. I was like, well, excuse the hell out of me. I can still backflip, so fuck off. I, mean, I can't backflip, so. Well, I've tried. I've tried to get you to backflip. I think there's a couple. I see, like, one solid day of practicing it. I'm sure I can do it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not... Oh, that's not what terribly doing. hard, but it can be a little hard. It's kind of shit. I, I'm going to have to comment on your game. You know you have other specials, too, <laughs> I, right? I don't know what they are. No! Uh, you might have to back out so you can look them up. Dude, were you one of those kids with video games that had the uh, pen and paper and, like, constantly writing oh, things I down? I did not. Or was that before all right, all right. your it's, time? That, uh, I had... Like those cheat code, those like gaming books that would have all the cheat codes in the back. Okay. I would save those, but I wouldn't generally write them down, except for maybe like for Grand Theft Auto. Fair enough. Grand Theft Auto three or four. Four. Oh. No. Wait. See, I'm OG. I played Grand Theft Auto one. Uh, I randomly had Grand Theft Auto two for like Game Boy, but I guess it was some sort of <laughs> the weird Game port. Boy port. Yeah, it was oh, awesome. Dude. Oh, my, and my my favorite Game Boy story. So me and my younger brother saved up all our money for like months to get Pokemon Crystal version as soon as it came out. Uh huh. But we had like that little uh, Game Boy Pocket. Oh okay, yeah, uh, right there. Yeah, that's a Game Boy Pocket. So it wasn't the Game Boy Color yet, and we didn't know it, but. Pokemon Crystal was only for Game Boy Color, uh, so it wouldn't work. So you work. bought it, you couldn't even <laughs> and then play it. Oh, we, like we cried, and then my grandma went out that day and bought us a, a Game Boy Color. Oh, that's that's cool. just one of my that's but a real fun. Little that memory. grandmother's cool as fuck. Shout out to Tim's grandma. <laughs> Damn, what really sucks about that though is you had a brother. Yeah, Here's we, your one Game Boy now, Color uh, between the two oh, of you. Here's a grind. Okay, it's left down. There's yeah, a grind. Cool. And then you've got one foot. Oh. Right. That's more for half pipes. Yeah. Oh, buttons. Yeah. Can I buy? Wait, can you buy tricks? Oh uh, yeah. If we you just click these, because I always like to just like left right. Yeah. 
Uh, I think, yeah, if you yeah, go to the cool. available, that'll just... That'll be up, down. Oh, yeah, I used to do this, too. Because it's so much easier. Yeah, and especially after you get, like, more than, like, two or three. Oh, you have to unassign it first. Oh. Didn't That's why... Didn't the other one, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't save, I guess. Um, you gotta hit square. Oh, go it. back, and ah. hit square, and then there you go. Boom. One foot Japan. Yeah, I used to do this too because it got extremely. Because then, like, you can have up down triangle, up down left right triangle, up down square, left right square, up down, and like, yeah, it's you can just kind of bust them out and not have to think about it. The thing that sucked about these games though were until like, remember the uh, I don't know if we'll like, we'll get to it, but the uh, uh, tournaments, the competitions. Oh like, there yeah, are levels yeah, yeah. that are. Com I hated those. Because it was like, do your best, and if you fuck, if you if you one fall time, one time, it can like, it's like the first one's whatever, drops. but after the first one, it's just yeah. like, all right, I got this. Oh, you're going back. I gotta get that high score. All right, we're going back. The high score, okay. All right. I'm sorry. The six score. This is the nineties. <laughs> the six score. It was. What was this? This game is so nineties. Where uh, actually, I want to say this is two thousand. No way. Uh, nineteen ninety nine, two thousand. All right, it's still nineties culture. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's the one thing I miss about old games, the book in the middle. The book like, and the box art. The box, oh. Now, like, the books are literally just, hey, uh, go to this website if you want to look stuff up. Yeah, doing that, that always upset me. Like, when they got rid of the book, and then, like, I started, I guess it really started with, like, 360 games. Yeah. Uh, maybe even GameCube a bit. No, because some of those GameCube games I have have booklets. Um, but it really started with, like, the 360, I think, I, I and the PS3, that. where you would get... You would get the game, and the booklet wouldn't really have shit. Yeah, it would just be like, here's the controls, here's, uh, why, alright, this is awful. Trying again. Yeah, I just keep, I can't do anything. Man. Uh. People are gonna be really disappointed in my skill. That's alright. All the only people, people are gonna be Yeah, I know, all eight people that watch this. I mean, it's YouTube, there's so much garbage to watch. That is true. And I don't even know if this is gonna go up on, like, the SWO Uprising site. Which, if it does, that means... No one's gonna watch it other than <laughs> us because I don't know if there are fans that actually watch our YouTube channel. I don't know either. Like, I know I, nah. I know I end up having to watch a lot of our matches <laughs> because I get asked this. Can work with me. Yeah, that that happens a lot. Um, so let's ask this then: What has been one of your favorite matches? I guess so far. Nah. I know you've only got three years, but what has been like? The one where you've been like has been your favorite, or maybe the one that like you felt helped solidify the fact that like, oh shit, I can do this. Um, I know that's a tough question to ask somebody because it's like, well, I've been wrestling for yeah, and I, I'm generally really long. bad at picking like like someone asked my favorite movie, I'm like, uh, Derp, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, or at least memorable. Like, what's what's something that maybe sticks out to you uh, that you've done or a match you've had? Recent, we'll just go recently. Um, I had a singles with uh, Andy Harner at um, True, mm -hmm. which I just really had a lot of fun with. Uh, actually, I've actually had a lot of fun with everything I've done at True so far, and I, uh, I'm a heel there, which is just different for me. So uh, the, my first time at True, I wrestled Tony Devin, which I really liked, and uh, <clears throat> we just talked for like a solid like, 20 minutes, and him just gave me pointers, and so I just felt like I learned a lot. And then the next time I was there, I wrestled Andy. I just felt like I got to apply a lot of things I had ah I had learned from Depp in that like previous month or whatever. Mm -hmm. So those two stick out recently. Um, not to be that guy, I really enjoyed my match with you. That was we just kind of beat the hell out of each other. Which one? The last summer? Yeah, the uprising total one. Oh yeah, that was. We fun just kind of beat the hell out. I just cannot get. Time. All right, I'm going on. All right. Oh, is the school next? Yes. Um, dude, if there's a level that you're gonna restart a lot, it's always the school. I hate the fucking school. But continue. I'm sorry. Um, I've really been just. I've really been enjoying what I've been doing at SWO recently too. Like I'm having a lot of fun teaming with uh, Benny and Bro. Mm -hmm. I'm just having a lot of fun with that. Is like I sometimes I take it too. too I don't want to say too seriously, but I take it too seriously, and then I can. That's when I don't have fun. Is when I take. I'll let myself not have fun because I'll just get so worked up over something, and just with them. Uh, like, cause 
especially with like Benny, me and him are really close, he's gonna be in my wedding, and so I just feel like I can just let loose and just have fun and be myself, mm -hmm. which I just feel like translates then to the fans, like they can see, oh, he's just out there having a good time. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's a good attitude to um, have. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Remember, we're dealing with 1999-2000 video game technology. <laughs> If I remember correctly, there's a swimming pool, an empty swimming pool in there that you can get to. I have no idea how to fucking open it up, though. Hey, man, they have really good level design, though. Just like these hall pads, like, they're kind of all in a line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The skate's a little weird in this level, if I remember correctly. It's a little all over the place. But, but uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite matches okay. recently that I can think of off the top of my head. And you didn't have to just say the one with me because but I'm it's here. It was a lot of fun. Shits. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot, uh, the one I had with Sage Matthews at last year's church show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's still, like, number one on my resume. Uh, and I think it might be number one on his resume, too, with Sage Matthews. Really? It's, it's on. I know it's on there. It was number one for a while. I don't know if he's replaced me. Is that, that when he did... He did the spooky gimmick. Yeah, okay. Which I really want to wrestle him with his new gimmick because I think the new gimmick is fantastic. So, speaking of gimmicks, and those who don't know, gimmick is more like a, a wrestling persona. Your, your character. Your character. Um, what is Tim Rush? Um, and I know that's difficult because it's asking you basically who you are, and I know you kind of are a more of a... I don't talk on the microphone to a lot of character yeah, development uh, person. Like, right now, it's, I'm just... I guess I would just describe it as, I'm like the wrestler's wrestler, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to try my hardest, I'm going to fight back, I'm never going to give up, um, but me and you have had this talk, with, I'm planning on kind of evolving that into more of, I want to go into more focusing on the art of wrestling, and... <laughs> no pun no, yeah. intended. Sorry, Cole, Sorry, we're, not, we're not stealing your don't ideas. Don't sue us, too. <laughs> we're already going to get a hefty fine from uh, Never Soft and Tony Hawk. <laughs> Or Bucky Lassick. <laughs> Bucky Lassick for making them look good. Oh, the bells. I forgot about the bells. Oh, the bells suck so bad. Because the wall riding's like... The wall riding is And so... then the grinds. This is one oh, of them. Oh, yeah. To get the... Oh, cool. uh, <laughs> I always try to do that extra trick after. Yeah. But, I um, do too. So, anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm restarting because I cannot multitask. They're going to... And you wanted to play a video game. You didn't want to just do a podcast. Uh, because I'm... An awkward person, and it'll make me more comfortable. There's something on there. So is that? A, let me. You know what? We're gonna ask that about you. So you're you're an awkward kid. That's cool. Yeah. No, I don't give a shit. I've always thought you'd be easy to talk to. But when you go to shows, does that like sometimes come out in your locker rooms and stuff? Like, what do you do to help with that? Um. Like, because I'm sure it's not easy when you go to a show for the first time and you're the new kid there and maybe only know, like, one or two people. I'm, I'm that... Why, why can't I go? I'm that guy that, if I only know one or two people, I'm just kind of... I'm going to, like, kind of just... just stick to them. Yeah, okay. Because I'm... Once I get to know people, I'll be very comfortable with you and I'll talk to you about anything. I'll mm. be immature, immature in, uh, inappropriate, you whatever. You up, act like yourself. Like yeah. the person I know. But that takes a while sometimes. So if I, I'm in a locker room with a bunch of people I don't know, I'll just kind of stick around the people I do know. And if I don't know anyone, I'll just kind of I'll talk to the guy like I'm working, and I'll probably just play on my phone a lot. Okay. Technology has really helped me with, or I guess not helped me with being able to, <laughs> being to social. I, I'm that guy, that that one that all the old people complain about. They don't know how to talk to people because of this technology. Yes, exactly. And it's so nice. <laughs> it's fantastic because I don't have to talk to people because of technology. Um, yeah, I kind of I, I see where you're coming from for sure. Uh, I I get like that the same way. You've been in locker rooms with me when I don't know a whole lot of yeah. people, and you see me the same way. I make jokes. I talk to who I that know and who I'm with, but I generally. You know, don't go out of my way a whole lot to make a new friend. Um, which in wrestling, friends are weird. Though you don't have that. You guys all kind of came in at the same time. Yeah, which is lucky. If it wasn't bad, I honestly don't know if I would have made it through everything. Just because, like... You it, had a camaraderie. Yeah, I already had... You know, there's always those, those like, clicks and stuff. And I already basically had a built-in click. Yeah. And, and wrestling is very click. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it by now. Yeah. Like, you get around, you go to shows. When you see, like, you know, there's a, 
a couple shows. Even us. They all have the same guys, and then, mm-hmm. like, the next group of shows will all have the same guys, so, which is whatever. It's, it's fine, good for them. Yeah. Which then also does make it hard to get in any place, because they all have their, yeah, it their can. group. It, it definitely can. I mean, even us, we're kind of clicky. Yeah. Which, I, I know is shit to say, but we are. It's true, and... I mean, and that's uh, we we do bring in people, and, and it's slow, but you know we get them oh, in. The e. Oh, know. you missed the E. Yeah, and I wasn't even really. I'm just dicking around. You were just dicking around, but you got a pro score. Right. You might have even unlocked a. L- oh no, you didn't. Oh, how do you get to the? I don't know how to get to the roof. The kickflip. The kickflip. The roof. The those roof uh, those two. Uh, oh, buildings? those two little. Okay, just okay. do a kickflip over it. I thought that was. You did it already. You just did a kickflip over it. Okay. You just did like another. I trick. thought it was like a roof, roof. I think the Tony Hawk one has like an actual roof you can get on the, on the uh, school. Yeah, because there is a school in the first game, isn't there? Yeah. Why can't I hit that stupid bell? Dude, I always hit the uh, the ramp first. Like I'll turn around, hit that ramp, and come down, and then try to wall ah. ride to it. Wall riding is so shitty in this game. And the though. yeah, the hit detection's. It's so poor. I know. Like it. it <laughs> there's an episode of me doing this for like five minutes. And Brian just crying, like, dude, do something else. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hey, we're, we've are we knocked out, like, almost 30 minutes of this shit. This is easy. Um, there we go. Yeah, you got it. Now, where are the other ones? So, let's, let's talk wrestling, I guess, more. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, where, where do you want to go with wrestling, I guess? Like, I know a lot of guys... <clears throat> They ha- like there's everyone wants to make it, but at the same time, there are guys that are like, I, I don't want to make it. I'm happy having a life. Uh, what, what about you? Like, what do you want out of wrestling? Do a kickflip. Nice. Um, I mean, if, if I could quote unquote make it, that'd be fantastic. I don't foresee that happening. Okay. Um, you've got the realistic. I- Ideal, I guess. I mean, honestly, if if I can go home from a weekend and pock and make a profit, you know, if I can pocket a couple bucks, I'm happy with that. I just, I, I just love wrestling so much. I just have so much fun with it. Like, and like I said, I, I'm such a shy guy, but for some reason, I, I'm in that. Like, I get in the ring and I'm fine. I'm literally sitting there in my underwear of, in front of a bunch of strangers. Yeah. And and can be, you know, and I'm comfortable as can be. It's so weird. You're gonna be more. You're more comfortable in your underwear in front of strangers than you will be in, in like a month at your wedding. Yes. Like <laughs> in front of my family, yeah. you know, people I actually know. Yeah. And in front of your close friends and family, but you're better off in your underwear. In Maybe front I'll, of strangers. I'll, I'll just wear my gear. I'll, I'll return my tux and wear the gear. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay you hundred bucks <laughs> if you did that shit. I'd like to see <laughs> the, the wedding wouldn't yeah. happen. Do you, do you want to talk about your your wife to be on here? Oh, we can. Um, ah, how? I guess. I mean, do you should have? Yeah, fuck it. It's a shoot. Uh, so, for those who don't know, former SWO wrestler Jessla and you have been together for how long? Oh, we're going on. And don't get it wrong, because she will probably listen to this. Basically, like ten, uh, like ten years. Okay. So damn, a decade, dude. I can't make a relationship last ten minutes. You, you made one last me in ten years. Good for you. So how'd you guys meet? High school, I'm uh, assuming. Literally, we met at the mall one. Like we happened to find each other at the mall, and she talked to me because I again can't talk to people. And she thought I, was, I guess thought I was cute for some Your reason. Your shyness. Yep. You got the quiet cool. I I, oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, that's what that is. The quiet cool. I think she just didn't know any better. <laughs> So, Wait, uh, did, I get, did I get the bells? I did get the bells. Yeah. Okay. I'm I thought you got the bells. No, you did that. You did the roof gap. We'll get a oh. bell and see what happens. Either way, it's almost like you have to go for one thing yeah. or the other. Oh, I dude! See, I always add that extra trick. Oh, um, sorry. Oh, just killing it. So you guys met like ten years ago at the mall. You were getting an Annie Ann's pretzel, <laughs> and she was like, "Hey, I like pretzels too." <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Uh, and I, like, actually, we had met in like must. Have, oh, I didn't get the I missed one of them. I guess it must have been like '05, and then we kind of just talked on and off. I guess started dating in December of '07. Okay. And then it just kind of went from there. Summer loving, me. <laughs> uh, like as soon as I was out of high school, we uh-huh. moved in together. We, uh, and yeah, so it's just kind of been from that, and it's all finally happening now because I procrastinate on things. Well, you both seem, like, really happy. 
I mean, I can say that much. I've seen it together. Why am I trying times. to do a trick after that again? Dude, you you don't know what you're doing in this game. If you want to go for the bells, if you want to go for tricks. <laughs> I, oh, I'm also very indecisive. It clearly. Well, it did take you 10 years to figure out you were going to marry Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jess. I had to make but a no, joke. Uh, things are going really well. I'm really happy with her. She makes me happy. That's she does good. those little things. Like I said, uh, today I got home from work and she surprised me with the uh, Spider-Man game. So I was pretty hyped about that. Which is amazing. It's fantastic. Go out and get Spider-Man 4 for the or Spider-Man for the PS4. Oh, that's not one of those things. No, uh, the the I don't think so. Oh, it wasn't. It didn't give me that. One of the grinds is the big one. The big one I keep falling on. Uh, the I'm one that just... comes down those. You still right. get skate. All right, I'm gonna get skate. You that's what okay. I'm gonna do this wrong. We're, we're doing skate. Turn there. Get your S. Because I think there's one right there. All right. Yeah, all right. They should basically be alive. They should be kind of in the set. There's your K. Nice. Wow. Uh, <laughs> jumped up. You beat the grass. Um, well, that's cool. I'm glad you're, you know, you're happy. Uh, Jessa hopefully hopefully is happy as well. Um, so... That's cool, and and she want did she she also likes wrestling obviously. Yeah. Um, it's a shame. I mean, she's not wrestling anymore, but you know, life always comes first. Um, do uh, so I guess something I should ask with wrestling then. Have you ever been injured? Because I mean, everyone's like, oh, wrestling's fake, but the injuries are real. Uh, yeah, I. Oh it. shit! Never mind. Yeah, you, you hurt. <laughs> I me. injured you. You hurt me. I, and that was an accident. Nah, it was. That I don't. Was I a, don't blame you. But that, that was a one hundred percent. That was accident. two years ago ish. It was yeah. in it was in October. I remember. Uh, but I broke my ankle in training because we were trying to do something. I landed awkwardly, I, and that was about it. Yeah, and we came back from that pretty quick too. It was. All right, I'm ending. You want? Oh, okay, okay. Dude, it was, you just got skate. You keep ending it, not retrying. All right, I'll try the rails. Who was? We were. No, it, was, it was almost three months. Cause I was in a I was in a cast for a month. Yeah. A walking boot for a month, and then just like until I actually got muscle mass back in my leg and could like walk comfortably on it was another two or three weeks. Yeah, it was so weird. That was quick for like to me at uh, least when you hear. A they break. said that it kind of broke in the perfect spot. Like if it was well. What did you say? Oh, the, the rails. Yeah. Which is not this. No. It's <laughs> at the top. Um, if it was. Higher up in my ankle, it, I, they said I would have needed surgery, and if it was lower down in my ankle, or it might be the other way around, it would have. It would have just longer. been. It would have just been a walking boot, depending on where. I think if it was if it was closer to my foot, it would have been a walking boot. If it was higher up, it would have required surgery. So I kind of got it like, in oh my god, in an okay area. So luckily, it didn't take surgery or anything, and I don't notice any pain in it or anything anymore. Like so, which is weird because I've sprained both of my ankles multiple times. Uh, two each, I believe, and I get this rolling crack. Like if I don't oh, do anything, yeah, yeah. oh dude, you probably heard it once or twice. <sighs> like when we're hanging right. out. Um, cool. Maybe that is one of the rails over there. I think this is one. Um, I don't know if they would have you ollie in between now. Well, you know where the second one is. You might as well go do the second. One. Where's the second one? But that big ass rail. Go uh, make a right go up there. Oh, that, one. that rail coming down is right. one of them. Maybe that one in the back was one. Oh, there's a secret tape way above you. Oh, so you do have to go on the roof. Like the roof yeah, roof. you've got to get, like, stat points in air, though, to get to it. Um, yeah, I remember. We were working on satellites. Yep. I was and just like rolling my, you. And yeah, you my just, foot just got, like, caught under me on it, and yeah, I tried to walk it off. And then I tried to walk on it for two days, and I was like, ah, I maybe I should go to the doctor. I think Might you'll to want to hit one. that little ramp. Go back. Oh, you can just do it. <laughs> Fuck it. No. There's a ramp right there. If you hit that uh, ramp and then jump, you might get it. At least I think that's the other ramp. Oh, yeah, it is. Got it. All right. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and wrestling injuries happen. I mean, look at my toe. It's actually getting. Is better. it better finally? It's actually getting a little. Oh, your, to your toenail's almost back. Uh, not really. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if the toenail will ever come back. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who? Dustin didn't tell you to not wear shoes. That's true. That was actually my fault, I think, because I just called him wrong. Like I called him right, 
And I put him, like, when he came down, he just, oh, there's your toe. Bang. Well, was it, it was on a dive? Yeah. Yeah. It, it shit happens. It's one of those, yeah. Yeah. This weird shit happens. You know, it's wrestling. Everyone gets hurt. Or banged up or bruised. Yeah. I mean, that the angle's the worst injury I've had, so mm -hmm. I'm happy, you know, I can live with that. I'm just lucky, like, in this world with where we know all the stuff about head injuries, I've never, I yeah. pretty confidently say I've never had a concussion, so that's good. I think I had a very minor one a couple of years ago. Because I don't remember how it happened. I just, if you don't remember how it happened, it probably happened. I don't remember how it happened now because it was like five years uh, ago, okay. uh, maybe four. I I had a match. I banged my head during the match, and I just remember going home and I was goofy as I was only fuck. Goofy. My girlfriend at the time was he like even calling my buddy uh, Brian, who's a nurse, and was like, uh, "I think he has a concussion." He's like, "Well, is he doing all these?" Kinda. Yeah, he might have a minor concussion. Well, what should I do? Don't let him fall asleep. And there I was, passed out next to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're too late for that. He's asleep. I don't want to wake him up. He might swing on me. He's a grumpy sleeper. <laughs> oh, one more. I don't remember where the last um, one is. Keep going. It's got to be up this way somewhere. I think it's in one of those back halls. Either that one or the other one. Maybe not. There's money, though. Did you get that first one? Uh, right at the beginning of the level? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then it's not back here. Oh, dude, you've only got 10 swap well, Unless it's right here somewhere. No. Jump over ah. the rail. Maybe you'll see it. At least maybe maybe you'll see it for next time, next run. Oh, you know what? Is it over here on the uh, water fountains? It might be. I think that's what they are. Um. <clears throat> well, cool. Cool, cool. We're there. Hey, we got a text. Home from what? Anyway. Oh, I know. Uh, so we talked about, you know, you getting into wrestling. So when you were training, and I'm not trying to hear more about myself or anything, <laughs> sure. but, like, was there any point during your training that, like, you thought, maybe I can't do this, or, you know, like, I've got this, or, like, what was, like, the worst part of it, I guess? Because it's different for everybody, like, getting into wrestling. Um... Uh -huh. There wasn't really a time where I felt like I couldn't do it. There is a bell. Over yeah, I got this one last time. Like, I've we've always been pretty athletic. I played, like, soccer in high school and stuff, so, like, that was never an issue. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't know. I, one over here to the left, I think. I, yeah, there. up here. I actually had a lot of fun with training. Like, you and Evan were just so cool to us. Like, you tried to be mean to us, but it didn't work. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys were so cool to us. And then I had a lot of fun. Um... I don't know if there's ever, like, a I've got this moment, because I feel like I still don't really got it. Like, I'm always trying to learn. Yeah. And I've heard a lot of guys say, like, like I've even heard, like, Stone Cold say, I was shit till I was, like, ten years in, so. Oh, yeah. So, I know that there's still plenty of stuff for me to learn. Uh, there's one up here. There's one down there. That, that might have been the one in there. There it is. Yeah, that's one of them. I think there's wall riding. Shit. Wall riding this game is the worst. <laughs> This is like gonna be twenty minute video of you just trying oh to. Oh my! Jump why didn't you wall ride that? Hit the there we go. <laughs> I think the last one's right up here. Um. Right. Yeah. It should be right there. Yeah. And you'll have them all. Uh. All right. Well, you know. Tra yeah, my training was a little different from yours, obviously, but I'm glad. I'm glad you got through it because you seem successful enough. Like you're wrestling. Um. <clears throat> So, who was the big inspiration? Was there like a big inspiration in WWF or whatever you were watching at the time that made you go, I can do this. I want to be like him. Uh, I don't know if they're like, there was, I don't know if there would necessarily be like a big inspiration. Uh, like as a kid, I was really, I really liked, uh, I kind of grew up off of like, UPN era Smackdown, like right after the brand split. Like that's, yeah. where, I, that's where I really remember re wrestling. The earliest wrestling I remember is that uh, my uncle had a VHS of WrestleMania 2000 that I'd watch all the time, oh, which is wow. awful. Yeah, so Mick Foley's big main event, though. Ooh. He main evented that WrestleMania. They, uh, as soon as the network came out, like, I'm going to go back and watch WrestleMania 2000. Ooh, that's all I, and I, like, I couldn't make lot. it through. So that's like my early earliest wrestling memory. Um, but I liked, I liked Eddie a lot. I liked Ray a lot. I liked the little guys. Um, well, you and do then, a lot of their moves. <laughs> yeah, and then I was at that time, 
I was at that age when Cena got hot. He was the coolest thing in the world to me. For about three years. And that's about when I fell out. It, so I missed all of all of everyone hating Cena is kind of what I missed. So then, like I started wa like got back into wrestling again in 2012. It was the uh, TLC where Punk wins the title back in like a three way. Okay. I want to say it's 2012 was like the first pay per view I watched yeah, when I got yeah. back into wrestling. So like I said, I missed I missed most of that we hate you Cena missed, area. You era. missed the the like 2008 to 2010. Yeah, basically. That like two and a half year, three year dry spell. Yeah, and of just shit. And I never world. had a. We didn't have cable when I was a kid, so I didn't have Raw growing up. So I also missed like Triple H's Reign of Terror and stuff. So oh, I missed dude, all of that, yeah. Dude. <laughs> you missed, I missed a lot of you bad. You are so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it sucks because you didn't get to watch wrestling, but at the same time, you're I lucky didn't. because you didn't get to watch that wrestling. It's kind of cool though because I'll go back and watch it with like Nate or Harrison because that's you know that was what they grew up on, yeah. and so I can go just go back and watch the good stuff and appreciate it for being the good stuff of that era. But I uh -huh. don't have to see. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to make that. Oh, I got it. Yeah, you got to restart the competition, um, too. But I don't have like, to go back. you don't back. get to restart a I don't run. have to sift through everything to... Yeah. Like, I don't have to watch... I don't even... Well, with the power of the internet now, like, what, oh. I, what I tend to do is uh, I'll search, like, a wrestler, like, Google, like, such and such as best yeah. 10 matches. And then because you've got the network... You can then just find you them. You can just find that match, unless it's Chris Benoit. Oh. Uh, Oh, you can, I just, you can still find the event. Yeah, yeah. I was just wanted to, I just wanted to make a <laughs> murder joke. Uh, <laughs> so, what, what are you watching now in terms of wrestling? Like, other than WWF? Um, I keep up pretty regularly with Ring of Honor. Ah, oh, that's not Um, if something newsworthy happens in New Japan, I'll go out of my way to watch it. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of... Whatever random stuff I hear is good. There's not really a whole lot that I like. Will just go out of my way and make sure. Oh, I need to watch everything from this. How did I land it on my head? Like everything from this company. I just kind of seek out what I. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. I just, oh, they take off your lowest score anyway. That's gonna be this. Even though I'll probably be worth that. Um, I say this is a solid 78. It's the first one. Ah, 83. 83. That's not bad. You're gonna be in second. Third. No third. Oh, you weren't far. All right, I got this now. <clears throat> but so I just yeah, kind of if I hear something's good, I'll go out of my way to watch it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, so like uh, like what uh, what's something big that's recently happened? I guess that maybe might have inspired you or possibly like helped you be like, oh shit, like that was just awesome. Like, he can. Do that. Um, you know, anything like that happen? God, I really, really liked All In and just everything they did just kind of blows my mind. Just, just like, oh, I knew I was here for the extra one. All right, um, just like from a business standpoint, it's awesome. Like no one would have ever thought that would have happened. And just kudos to all those guys. Right. Boom. <laughs> what I liked about All In was, it was just the one foot Japan you can hold. Yeah, but it, uh, I can't walk on it. It's such an awkward move. I never can figure out how he lands it. Uh, like if you hold yeah. it wrong, it's all like he gets all wonky. Uh, I enjoyed all in a lot. An eighty-six. That's second. That's gotta be second place. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I enjoyed all in a lot because it was. It felt WWE when you're watching it. And once I say this, people never think about it. They'll start noticing. There's so many jump cuts. Yeah. And it gets nauseating. Like, it it really gets nauseating because there's so many jump What? And, um, the, and it'll take away from, like, the impact of some of the moves sometimes. Yeah. So they, they jump cut the bump a lot, and it's kind of like, ah. Uh. I wanted to see that bump. And All In didn't really do that. They let something happen, and it settled. Yeah. You know, there was a couple jump cuts, but nothing crazy. I mean, you're going to have them they here really and there, just, but... They really only used, I think, three cameras. 
And one thing I did appreciate that they did, <laughs> they used that camera that went over the ring every so often. Yeah. Uh, and WWE can do that. It's just WWE can do, do whatever they want. They just don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. The thing is, like, they become complacent, and their fans have become complacent. Like, people want to complain about it, but they'll like, I complain about it just as much as the next time. But sure. I, I still subscribe to the network. Oh yeah. I still watch the pay per views. I still <clears throat> DVR Raw, all that stuff. Um. There well, we that, go. There you go. I don't think you're getting first, though, for 90. Ah. Right, Second place that. isn't bad. New level? Alright. Um, I don't know. I think with, uh, I think that you mentioned that the complacency and things along like that actually make wrestling as a whole better. It does. Because it's just, well, like, because everyone else is stepping up because they want to be different, and that's, that's good, because, like, for a while, everyone's like, well, I just want to do what WWE wants to do. and But we're at the point, you cannot compete with WWE with what WWE wants to do. Mm -hmm. So, like, these companies going out and be, how did I fall? Being themselves and doing their own thing and having an identity, whether it's Lucha Underground or Ring of Honor or PWG, like, they're all different. They're all their own thing, and they know that. And they have their marks, and they're making money. So, I don't, yeah, I think it does help. And then there's just always, with NXT, there's, ah! always that big flow of talent so like they're always bringing in new people which then the indies are just at a necessity just kind of um adapting and as talent goes to the e they just bring in more you know it just evolves from there like you know, adam cole and all those guys left ring of honor now you got marty scroll and flip gordon and then it's just gonna aha that never-ending cycle which is just good for wrestling as a whole let's talk about the things you don't like about wrestling and I mean they can be what about pro wrestling do you absolutely detest uh, because there's a and, and, and I mean anything like from guys with just stinky gear because they don't watch, watch oh yeah stinky gear there. is definitely the probably the worst yeah exactly. it's like that's just rude <laughs> you're, you're you're going into a ring you're half naked or something you're gonna be sweaty like Watch and when they, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, I don't want to get like staff infection. True. That'd be pretty awful. Um, is there anything though that like, other than that, that stands out to you? Is that like, just like, what grinds your gears? I guess <laughs> um, family guy. Well, so I was just saying how much I like how like wrestling's evolved and always changing. Is I hate the guys that aren't willing to evolve. Like I get things were different back in, like, I don't want to sound... I don't want to sound disrespectful to anyone because I respect people that have come before me. I understand. But there's those guys that just live in the past and that nothing new can be good. Hey, brother. In my or like, you know, in my day, I'd kick your ass for that. It's like, why? Why would you Why would you want to beat someone up because they've looked at you the wrong way or... Well, how's they look at you? <laughs> <laughs> how's this dude looking at me, Tim? No, I, I kind of see what you're saying. You don't like the, uh, the clingers. The guys that don't want to evolve. Yeah, and that, and also like that old carny mentality, where like they just want to scam the fans and scam the boys and scam everyone. Like that stuff drives me nuts. I mean, I like working the boys a bit. Like when I go out working guys and I'm doing like they're dressing up as their favorite wrestler. Well, there's a difference between or, working the boys and trying to screw the boys. Yeah, I mean, I'm not screwing the boys at that point. If anything, I'm getting them to pop a little bit. Yeah, and, like say, oh, you little dick. And. <laughs> And that's also fun for the fans then, yeah. too. Especially, like, um, a lot of SWO's fans, they follow us all on social media. They kind of know our real-life stuff, so yeah. they, they know Nate's a huge Undertaker fan. So when you come out as Undertaker, they understand what you're doing. Yeah. Which is which is tough for some of you guys, because y'all motherfuckers no-sell me on that shit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Nate is so was so easy. Like, he was just... You could read that. Like... But you, I, I like, your favorite wrestler, someone, like, obscure, you're like, so are you going to come out dressed like Steve Blackman? <laughs> like, you know? Um, but, yeah, I definitely know what you mean. I've I've wrestled those guys. I know those guys. Um, and the thing with wrestling is, and I've always thought this, what? is it's so different. From, like, you can have a match that can be completely different from mine. Um, that's why I like to do comedy matches sometimes. Because if everyone on the show is going to go super try hard and, like, do a bunch of athletic, athleticism stuff, 
then I want to be a little different that night and maybe tell something different. Do some funny stuff. Yeah. And, like, so wrestling's so different, and, you know, you've, I've heard the thing a million times that there's a million different flavors of wrestling, mm -hmm. like ice cream. Yes. But there's those guys that just won't admit that, and if it's... If it's not the wrestling they like, then screw you. Yeah. It's trash. It's there are, you're killing the business. It's like there are definitely those people that only want vanilla, and you can't tell them that there's chocolate or strawberry. And the thing is, if you only like vanilla, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. If you only want to go back and watch Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior, good for you. But don't then shit on other people for what they they enjoy, which is just kind of I guess that's almost like a societal problem though too at this point. Um, like not to get in, like I don't oh, get political ahead. on this. Get but get the lost missile. Yeah, get political. Fuck it. That'd but it's be just funny. everyone's just so. If it's not my way, if it's not what I like, then you're wrong. And it's no, you're allowed to have different opinions. I'm allowed to like them. Oh, we'll just go. I really enjoyed the new Star. Yeah, I enjoyed Star Wars. I, yeah. uh, Last Jedi. People hated it, and it fine. Some people they hear you say they say you enjoyed it and they'll just yell at you. No, it was bad because of this, this, this. It's just shut up and let them enjoy it for what it is. I I definitely think, uh, and this is me getting a little political and stuff. I think that's a thing from social media. Yeah. Social media, like I mean, you're not too much younger than me, six years. Um, but social media definitely gives everybody a platform it, to be an yeah. asshole. And state their with, opinions. And uh, to be an asshole with basically no repercussions to it? Yeah. It, I mean, and I can't talk shit too much because, I mean, I'm on social media, so. Yeah, but I, like. But it definitely not makes people there feel more Commenting on some obscure wrestling thing and being like, if you like this, uh, yeah. you're terrible. You're dumb. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't really do a whole lot on social media as much my, as Yeah. Is. My social media is like 90% wrestling. Yeah. Just because uh, I'm not. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like to put my real life out there a whole lot because I know I'm friends well, with fans, and I mean, and not I, that I don't want them to see me, but I don't have a whole like a lot of. I have like nine hundred some friends on I Facebook. So many, like, how do these? I don't know how these. People I don't know find who me. some of these people are. These, like I get all these random friend requests. I'm like, what makes you look up Tim Rush, the random guy <laughs> from the middle of PA, the middle of nowhere? Like it gets and, wild, and what what's even worse is there are guys, there are wrestlers that uh, friend sex bots. Oh my! Then, and then, they, then you get a friend request. Uh, what from I've been them? doing is if I get a if I get one of those spam accounts, I go to all my mutual friends and I delete them all, and then I delete and report the sex bot. Because ah, ah, I'm it, ah, like it would be it was to the point where I get like two and three a day. Oh and yeah. It's annoying. So I was like, all right, if you're stupid enough to add, you know, the person who's only I keep trying only Facebook status is come watch my camera show then you don't deserve <laughs> you don't deserve to be my friend on Facebook it's like uh, uh, it just yeah you're right it, it really just boggles my mind sometimes. what what Jeez, what are you doing how do you fall I was trying to wall ride well you wasted 15 seconds trying to do that <laughs> that was a 25,000 point combo that would have uh, that would have got you halfway there I think so at least the second one all right, so stinky gear, guys that don't change their outlook. On Boom, us, like 40,000. 40,000, I knew that wasn't going to work. Um, is there anything else that really gets you going, that really upsets you about wrestling? Because I'm sure, I know there's a ton of stuff that you'd like about it, which we did kind of cover. But let's talk about the... <laughs> that ramp's hard to judge. That it's is. Hard, it's hard to judge, like, where it's that... It's dark. All right. The kick was over that guy. Oh, you probably go from the... Uh, um, if not, it's fine. I don't want you to just shit all over wrestling. Nah, nothing, I mean, okay. just like really bad wrestling. Then that, <laughs> <laughs> that can also just be funny though, so it's okay. True. Because some bad wrestling is funny. But even bad wrestling, it's still entertainment in some way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. This game's so 90s. Um... Yeah, because even bad wrestling has things. Even bad wrestlers have their. Because I, I don't remember. I heard someone just say like, everyone is someone's. Every wrestler is someone's favorite wrestler. Like it doesn't matter how good you are, how bad you are, how big of a name you've made. And, like that's true. Because I've I've heard kids say, "Hey, you're my favorite wrestler." I'm like, I shouldn't be. Dude, I uh, did. Did you see my Facebook status about that? Oh, you were there last Saturday or Sunday when that dude came up to Zach Belmont and said. You're yeah, better than, you're AJ, better than Styles. AJ Styles. <laughs> he, he went 
Uh, no, I'm not, but thank you for appreciating my work. I need one more subway token. Like, you, there, oh no, that's money. I don't want to land a big drop. I think you want to hit, oh. Oh, is it out? Pull it into you. Oh, yeah. Well, I got the score, at least. Yeah. Scores, did you get the score? I got the middle score. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, let's do it. Oh, there's hot. I leave the hydrants. You almost had the subway tokens. And then you have to 50 50 that uh, sculpture that was right there. Yeah, that big tall one? Yeah. yeah like that. Oh. Um, I didn't even see fire hydrants. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see them either. <laughs> I think you can ollie the cars. Yeah, it's a car hop. Okay. If I remember correctly. Um. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the next level. This All is right. not going well. Uh, I think the next level is the beach. Venice Beach, I think. And that one's fun. Um, I think I unlocked it. So I'm gonna steal something from. Yeah, nope. oh, I need 15,000. I'm gonna steal something from OSW Review. Those guys are fucking awesome. I don't know if you watch their shit. I do not. Watch I've their heard you shit. talk about them. Um, so they do this Subway thing rails, right. where they have their boy stable. Which essentially is guys that basically like mid carters and under carters in the, in the bed, or guys that never got the uh, WWE championship. So like, uh, like I mentioned, Steve Blackman earlier, that would be a guy in the boys stable, Val okay. Venus. So, who are your favorite bad wrestlers? Basically, your five. Uh, or it could be less than five. But do you have do you have a bunch of guys or do you have wrestlers? Most of mostly probably in the attitude era. Yeah, these are mostly gonna be kid uh stuff from as a kid. I love Scotty Too Hottie. Me too. He's a, he's and, my number one. Uh <laughs> and It was just the facial expression. He was so, I don't know. I was, he was and he was so good I at being a jobber. That was like ninety nine, I was like eight years old. Yeah. He did the worm. What else did you need? Yeah, exactly. That's all you need. You know, we'll stay on the same trend. I love Rikishi as a kid. Okay. Yeah, that's... Rikishi is definitely... He got the upper mid card. Oh, he's a Hall of Famer now. Can we really call him that now? Yeah, he never had the title. All right, fair enough. They never pushed him like a, you know, a real yeah. threat. Like, <laughs> okay, so you got Rikishi and Scotty. Uh, oh, I'm pretty with Mark for Cozy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's getting the push now, but he'll never get that world title. Kofi push. will never, but he is—he's that perennial, just mid card, upper mid card, but so good. He is going to be—I uh, I think he will definitely get a Hall of Fame ring. Yeah. But I don't ever see him getting a tight like the title. But he is like this guy that you can just count on to go out and have a a, a very fun, yeah, have a good main, match. Like he's a popcorn match guy. Yeah. You know. Like, uh, popcorn match would be something like right after an intermission, I guess. Or, or like, he'd be, uh, there to kick off the show. Yeah, just entertaining. You know he's gonna be solid. He's not gonna wow anybody, and he's not gonna steal away from the rest of the show, but you'll remember. Yeah. Um. That's a good one. Kofi's a good one. I'd like to say Ziggler, because I'm a huge Ziggler mark, but he's had the world title. He's had the world title, but he's never had the E title. Yeah. And that's where there's always contention because uh and, and that's the thing with Ziggler he's one of those guys that's like Kofi but I don't know like he's got charisma I don't know sometimes I look at him and I'm just like dude you're phoning it in uh there's those times where you definitely like when they don't have anything creative for him you can tell he doesn't he care. just doesn't but his thing shit. his stuff with Rollins has been so good he's had super good stuff with Miz he had that feud with Punk, I and mean, that's right when I got back into wrestling, so that was awesome. The feud with Punk was okay. His feud with Miz, dear God, could those two have, uh, like, they had great matches. I just didn't care for the story. That was one of those where it was like, uh, the feud's kind of boring, but their matches are fun. I Me, personally. They had the really good, like, career ladder match, which had a good story going into it. That's, yeah. That's, well, they really put out the fact that Ziggler could leave. Um, I don't know. His stuff right now with Rollins just feels like it's building for McIntyre to go singles. Yeah, which is you fine. You look at that dude and you're just like, this this guy's going to be a fucking star. Like I don't know, man. 
I didn't know what you were going for, so I wasn't paying attention. I'm going for the subway tickets. I got four before, now all of a sudden I have three and can't find any. I am... I'm so cool. All good. Um, damn. This is fun. Do you feel more loosened up now? I do. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this way more than I thought it would. <laughs> like, I was like, man, I'm going to be nervous. And you're my first well, guest. I was like, I'm going to be nervous and awkward, but I just... And I think I'm going to be nervous and awkward. I won't say a word. I'll answer everything. Yes, no <laughs> questions. Yep. But, yeah. What do you like about wrestling? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be jumping, uh, what was his name? Jumping Jack Farmer. <laughs> yep. I'm going to I'm gonna beat him up this Saturday night. Promo of the millennium. All right, I'm getting these subway tokens. There's something I think here you could probably hate. Promos. I've heard you cut some promos. Oh, yeah. Your promo work is a little, a little rough. It can be bad. That's fine, everyone. I've had... Though. You've had good I've had good ones. ones. Um, I just always feel like when I don't know what I'm going to say, I can actually do all right because I don't overthink it. Or like if it's right at... Like I really like the... Like this immediately... Look at that. They don't even render past that border. <laughs> the street just ends. Yeah. Everyone. Um, is that one? Yeah. Ah. That might be one of the missing. Yeah, that's probably what you were going for when the fucking <laughs> car hit you. I really like, like the post-match interviews. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I still have the adrenaline going. I can just kind of go and not think about it. That's not a really Todd, Todd generally does that. Yeah, I, I like doing that. I feel like I can do all right with those. Turn right. Is there one up here? No. Turn back. Which is one up on this bridge, isn't there? I think you got that one. Yeah, yeah you got the bridge one. Right. Wait, what was that above the coffee shop over there to your right? Uh, oh. back. Sorry. Is there one? Nope, that was just the sign. Okay. Oh, there's one there floating. It is. is that the last one? Yeah. Oh, I gotta hit that off that, that you rock. You gotta get on the right. rock. Yeah. You gotta get that. the rock, yo. Um, rock, yeah, wrestling's, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're having fun with it. It's good to see you thrive. Yay. All that shit. Um, I still haven't seen any of these fire hydrants of you. No, I still haven't looked. I, haven't, I keep forgetting. Uh, person you want to wrestle the most right now? That's feasible. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Oh, uh, Shawn Michaels circa 1995. <laughs> Not like. Man, that Shawn Michaels would have been a dick to me. He would. That Shawn Michaels would have buried sucked. me. That Shawn Michaels would have been like, all right, kid, super kick. Take Done. I, actually, would he have been doing the super kick in 95? 95 might still been rocker dropper. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so weird because if you watch those old matches of his. Oh, did you ever see uh, Marty Jannetty break that guy's neck with a rocker, rocker dropper? No. The guy tries to flip bump it. What? Lands on his head, breaks his neck. Like Yoshi Tatsu tried to. Uh, li like, I guess that happened to Yoshi Tatsu and AJ. Yeah, it was a Styles clash. He, yeah. Uh, he flipped the wrong way. I mean, uh, which I can understand that better than a flip bump on a rocker dropper. He was like, I guess he was some jobber guy they brought in, and Marty claims that he told him how to take it. The guy claims that Marty told him to flip bump it. But I know the guy, like the guy sued the E and sued Marty and like got a good bit of money. Out. Like he was paralyzed. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, got a good bit of money out of it. I mean, not that that makes up for being paralyzed. No, I mean, I gotta grind that stupid statue, don't I? No, you have to, that. No, oh, not that another one. one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think of the area you were just in. You had to, you have to grind that. Statue. People are gonna hate my game plan. Oh, it's okay. It's, did you ever watch Game Grumps? <clears throat> oh yeah, They're that's hilarious. why we started doing Let's Plays. Ooh, but they, they can be really bad sometimes. And I'm just like, no, what are you doing? Oh yeah, they, it's. You don't watch people play Let's Plays that are doing comedies and conversations yeah. over it for the play because you'll lose your fucking mind. Like, there have been at least that statue down there. Ah. You want to go down? Yeah, you'll figure it out. Uh, you know how many times while we've been playing this that I've wanted to rip the controller out of your fucking hand oh, and I'm just sure. start going at it? <laughs> I'm sure plenty of times. And what sucked is when we... Wait, is it that, that big That big thing? one, ah, yeah. That big, like, it's, it's not a statue. It's more of a That's a, I think it says yeah. sculpture, too. When me and Brian used to do these... Uh, we, I, I couldn't talk at all if I was playing. Like, shut up, I need to get 100%. He's like, no one's what? even watching these. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't even have friends that are going to watch this shit. It is, it is hard to, to hold an actual conversation and play video games. Especially something like this that takes a lot of concentration. And you didn't think this would be that hard. Well, I was going to play this game a lot. Boom. Yeah. All right. 
Are you at 1500 yet? No. Drying the subway rails. That might not be too hard. I just don't know where they are. I don't know. Uh, you gotta go up. I think now that you have the tokens. I, scr I grinded one, but I don't know. You can go up those ramps to the top. Uh, like, on the other side of that, there should be an up ramp that takes you to the uh, subway. If you don't get hit by a fucking car first. <laughs> this was also fun about the... Uh, no, no, what are you doing? See that? See that arrow? Oh. Follow that arrow. Right there. Oh. Up there. Um, this is also one of those games that had like music soundtracks and shit. Yeah. Loved that. Uh, really want to get Matt Hoffman's BMX. And I think right down there is... The oh, subway. these... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I remember this. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just I'm driving my car into a lake tonight. And, uh, on the way home, yeah, I'll find yeah, one. The final lake. I know where one is. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Anything else on your mind, wrestling wise, uh, video game wise, um, Tim wise? Huh? Like, what are you uh, what are you into right now? Like personal life, like having fun doing. Uh, I don't know. Other than uh, playing video games, I guess. I'm in my yearly process of rereading all the Harry Potter books. Really? Yep. That's something you do. <laughs> yep, I'm sorry to disappoint you. No, I'm not. Like, yearly? Oh, uh, probably. Pretty. Is it not these? I assumed it was. The secret tape might be up there. Oh, uh, uh, that is where the secret tape is. Is it? I think the subway rails might have just been random rails that just said subway gap. Or oh, okay. You read Harry Potter, the Harry Potter books once a year. Yeah. Really? I'm on a half blood print right now. Which one's that? That's the, the sixth, fifth? Sixth one. Six? Wow. It's a one, spoiler warning, uh -huh. where Dumbledore dies. <gasps> Dude. Which rocked me as like a 15-year-old kid or whatever. Whew. But I was that perfect age group. Like, I read the first Harry Potter book when I was you like You grew 10. up with it. Like, yeah. I was his age through pretty much all of <clears> the <throat> No! Oh! <laughs> I was talking too much. I got distracted. You got too, you got too excited talking about Harry Potter because <laughs> <laughs> you got the glasses and everything. <laughs> do you want? Did you go around with the, the scar on your forehead? I did not. No. Do you? Uh, when I'm talking shit on you, does your ankle hurt now? <laughs> <laughs> it does. I can actually. I can feel you when can you're feel angry me? through through my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Ken's near. He's angry. <laughs> I'm hobbling about. Uh, I'm glad we can laugh about that. Oh, oh, there's... Wait, have you been over there? I think you have. Maybe that's where all the hydrants are. Was I over here? I don't think you were over here, dude. This doesn't look familiar at all. Not at all. I'm... But you've only got a minute to be over here. So, if there's anything over here, I can find it. Oh, there's a secret tape. Alright, how do I get up to it? Fuck if I know. I still don't see a hydrant, though. Yeah, it's... There's oh, you thing. gotta drop off. Oh, the you gotta, Okay, you gotta drop onto it. So you do have the, but I don't think... This might be where these subway rails are. This looks like a subway station. Uh, a basketball court? Like... No, there's like the sub... Like, I definitely thought this was a city. I don't know. <laughs> People play basketball in the so, subway, right? Yeah. I'm not from the city. Yeah, you you live in the city. You've been there. Um, Alright, so you're reading Harry Potter again. What else you got going on? Well, she, uh, Jess just got me Spider-Man, so that'll probably take up a good bit of my life. <clears throat> um, That's fine, I mean... You, uh, I mean, you that, know you wrestle, yeah. you play video games, and apparently you read Harry Potter. And then, yeah, between that and like work, I don't really have much time for other stuff. And planning a wedding, which, I mean, shout out to Jess, she's done about 98.9% .9 of the planning. That's gotta be awesome. I mean, I... yeah, it, a, it, a piece of you's gotta be like, thank God. I, Because I'm terrible at that kind of stuff. Oh, I've already got my wedding And she, she's pretty nitpicky with it, so... <laughs> which is fine, she wants to be like, I understand that. But so, yeah. but the thing is, she's nitpicky, but she's not like, hey, it's help, and then yelling at people. She's yeah. just like, I'll just do it myself. That way, I know it's the way I'm yeah. gonna, I she want can it only to be. Blame herself. Yeah, <laughs> that way, when it's all awful, she yeah. can't blame me. <laughs> Tim, the cake's on fire. <laughs> oh, we're getting cupcakes. 
Oh, that's oh, a lot be, of people are doing that. They gotta now. be filled cupcakes. There's like a cookies and cream one. Nuh uh. Yep. Oh, dude, I'm getting a sugar rush <laughs> at your wedding. I'm pretty hyped. Like, we went and tasted them, and they were so good. <sighs> well, that's that's cool. I'm, I'm excited for you. My wedding, though, if I ever get married, going to the JP, going to the courthouse, we like sign the paper. <laughs> we done. I'm just. You're, you're so romantic. I, I know. And then I'll have a party. Like everyone, come hang out. Not here though, because this apartment's too small for everyone I know. <laughs> Where, dude, you're about to get hit by that subway. Oh, dude, you die. <laughs> he didn't know someone. Had... Wait, so that takes you down there. See, this is a subway station. Okay, then how? I don't. There must be a switch up top. There must have been another. Maybe there's another subway. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I think we're I think we're about done. I don't know how to end these. Is there anything else you want to say? If people want to find you on social media, or don't you want people finding you on social media um, after we talk? No, nah, finding me on social media is fine. What I use? Let me. I got. I don't remember my uh, stuff. Let me just say this. what. Just look up Tim Balbitz. Uh, Tim Rush. Facebook is it's just Tim Balbitz, my regular name. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Oh, I believe yeah, that's, that's that is a. Uh, it's Tim Rush Pro, all one word. What do you put pictures up on Instagram of? My wiener, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, all its glory. <laughs> it's just, like, 95% wrestling posts. Every now and then a picture of my dog. Every now and then a picture of my car. Every now and then a picture of me and Jess. Or a picture of Harrison and your dog. Is there one of Harrison I've and dog seen on a here? Uh, maybe that's on his. But I've seen pictures of him and your dog. And he's like, yeah, I hated that dog at first, but... It's getting me girls. <laughs> I was like, I guess. Get That's got to be his. Oh, wait, here's a picture of a shamrock shake. A picture of a Nintendo. This is what we're going to do for the next hour. <laughs> scroll as, through. as we're trying to wrap up, Tim's going to scroll through my own Instagram. But yeah, and then uh, on... <laughs> for a shy guy, you're rather conceited and egotistical. <laughs> uh, my tw you can follow me on Twitter. I don't post on Twitter that often. Oh, I but don't... It's just, uh, I think it's Tim underscore Boblitz. Tim underscore Boblitz. That's B A U B L I T Z. I don't have a Twitter because I find Twitter to be the most evil oh, of the social it media. It is the most evil, but there's also there's a lot of there's cool so stuff. much good on Twitter. Like so many. Like my fa my favorite Twitter account right now is Mark Hamill. It's ninety five percent political stuff and then five percent him retweeting pictures of cute dogs, which coming from it just makes me super happy because I'm just like oh look a little fluffy puppy and it's like Mark Hamill retweeted this I'm like thank you Mark Hamill is, <laughs> is, is just amazing um yeah yeah I find it Twitter just to be the most evil oh yeah it, it is the, if you dive into anything it is the most toxic Ooh. so I just and I just I only follow things that I know I like and I just try not to ever look into like threads because I just get sad I try not to ever talk to anybody or look at anybody because I don't want to get heat <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll like read an article and it'll be like, you know, five year old kid raped. And I'm like, all right, there's no Jesus one. This, this, this is just a, an extreme example. I'm like, all yeah. right, there's no one that can possibly say this is a good thing. And then I'll like read comments like, that kid was asking for it. I'm like, what? Jesus. See, and I see shit like that. People post these like stories on Facebook of just like bizarre things. And then I, you sometimes if I'm like, this is just too, there's a fire hydrant. Hey, there is one. If, <laughs> if I just find it at Got the one. End, no, nope, nope, you even like, ah! <laughs> And sometimes I'll just Google the story and I'm like, there's no way this happened. And then I can't find anything about it anywhere, so I'm like, well, you just can't believe anything you read now. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there's only three of them. Oh, dude. All right, they gotta be on the road. They're not gonna be out here. Well, yeah, I have no idea where you're gonna find them. I even had a red curb. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. The curbs just right everywhere. No, there was one right there. That's a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Oh, I, I thought it was a part of the shadow. Oh, well. In the last six seconds here, I don't think Tim's gonna find his missing fire hydrant. I doubt it. But this was I mean, a lot of fun. It was. I I, I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope this. How actually, long did this, How long did we uh, go? We went about an hour and fifteen minutes. No one's gonna want to watch this. No one's gonna watch it. Um. But if they do, hey, we're glad you stuck around. We hope you had fun. And, uh, you know, if... Wait, are we going to name this before we go off? I have no idea. You know what? I'll come up with a name for this thing. And edit an intro and, in. I, and edit an intro, and I'll just be like, hey, welcome to blah, blah, this. blah. Yeah, this. 
So um, we'll we'll catch you later. Hopefully, um, maybe I can have this up before the next uh, church before the church show, and we can promote it. Sort of. Um, <laughs> we talked about it for three seconds. Yeah. Well, uh, if you can check out SWO anywhere else you're wrestling at again, Tim. Uh, SWO, you can be seen there. True, True wrestling. True wrestling pretty frequently. And then I'm going to start branching out more. I'm not 100% sure where. That's fine. He's only been in for a little bit. He's still getting his feet under him. He's got to get married. Yeah, that, that, like, I got SWO, SWO, my bachelor party, wedding, honeymoon, like, all coming up. Yeah. Like, that's, that's my schedule. You're booked. That's my October schedule. You're so booked. I'm planning on just, like, focusing up, I guess, I don't want to say, like, it's a New Year's resolution for for the New Year basically yeah like every year i've wrestled a little bit more i know like a lot of guys just dive in feet first and like they're immediately like wrestling every weekend and then you get burnt out yeah that, you will get I, burnt I out think of that. but so like every year i've progressively wrestled more and a lot of it's just been hard with work schedules like at first i worked at lowe's which is retail so it's just I mean, yeah. the worst to get off on weekends and then with this job i work saturday like i work till usually like 11 on saturdays but i'm up at 3 30 in the morning Jeez. so for anything like it ends up being a long day so for anything that's like real long travel it gets yeah i know there's gonna be those guys going well you don't want it enough brother but again i'm i, I never really said i did yeah <laughs> there, there's those guys that like if you're not sacrificing your whole life for wrestling they're just they shit on you and you you know you know what i mean yeah i and i've seen some of those guys' personal lives and i'm like well What's your home life like? Yeah, you know, I can go. I, I have a job I don't hate. I can, you know, I pay my bills on time. I can go home and Relax. not, not want to die. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think we should have right, on wrestling now. So, all right. Um, we'll catch you guys uh, on the next one. I don't know who my next guest will be, but I'll probably be here. So, uh, thanks for joining us and uh, hope you had fun later on. Bye.